So Romans 8 tells us that we have a decision to either walk in the flesh or walk in the spirit. Listen to what Romans chapter 8 says. It says this in verse 5. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the spirit have their minds set on the things of the spirit. Now the mind that is set on the flesh is death, but the mind that is set on the spirit is life and peace. The mind of the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. Those who are in the flesh can, cannot please God. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If, in fact, the spirit of Christ lives in you. If anyone does not have the spirit of Christ in him, he does not belong to him. Now, if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is life because of righteousness. And if the spirit of him who raised Christ from the dead lives in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you. So it says that if you set your mind on the flesh, right, what is the flesh? The flesh is your selfishness, things that you want, this world, this present world, the temptations. You set your mind on the carnal things, right? What I want, living for Jesse, Right? Instead of living for Jesus, if I just think about the here and now, the temporary, and I don't think about eternal things, that's the eternal things. <coughs> These spiritual things are the things of the Spirit. God's Word is setting your mind on things of the Spirit. Going to prayer to God, talking to Jesus is things of the Spirit. Thinking about our home in heaven, dwelling on our future hope is dwelling on things of the Spirit. Listening to sermons, that's setting your mind on things of the Spirit. Attending church, attending fellowship, that's setting your mind on things of the Spirit. Right, Meditating on God's Word, memorizing God's Word. You know, all these things we can do help us set our mind on the Spirit so then we'll live a life of peace. It says to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. How many of you want an abundant life and abundant peace? It comes by setting your mind on the Spirit. Far too often, our mind throughout the day, is set on so many fleshly things. That's why we need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Amen?